We're here today in Toulouse to fly Airbus's biggest twin, the A350-1000. Flight Global was fortunate enough to fly the, its smaller version, the A350-900, three years ago. The A350-1000 is an Airbus Powerless 777-300ER uh, killer. They did a seven meter stretch and added 40 passengers and affectionately they added three axles onto the main gear so it looks like the Bigfoot 777-300ER. Once we're up in the air, we'll see firsthand how the A350-1000 compares to the other Airbus aircraft, and more importantly from my perspective, how it compares to its main rival, the 777-300ER. back from flying the A350-1000, Airbus's biggest twin. Some of the notable features we experience in flight, are fairly unique actually for an airliner, is the emergency descent mode. There's a single button on the pedestal and extending the speed brakes, the aircraft will turn off the airway, parallel the airway, and start a idle descent at MMO or VMO. I observe rates of descents of up to 8,000 foot per minute. One never hopes to use this, but the fact that I can do one button press and descend simplifies the task of getting the aircraft down safely. Another neat feature is the touchscreen displays. Touchscreens are starting to come into uh, in vogue now on airliners and I think Airbus has done a good job of implementing touchscreen technology. Having flown most of the Airbuses as a preview pilot for Flight Global, I can assure you that a transition to the A350-1000 from any of the Airbus fleet be quite simple. Airbus has done a great job of harmonizing their cockpits across their range from their small twins to the big 400 A380. It looks like the A350-1000 will be a big hit and an easy transition for those lucky enough to fly it.